Hey, what's up, guys? Frankie Seshi here. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a few different ways of um, of finding out how to fix the Windows audio service is not enabled issue we're having. The audio service is not running. You can see that down there. Okay, well, a couple of things could be contributing to this, but first off, I want to make you guys go into your onto your computers and confirm that we're having the same issues. Uh, you want to go to the control panel under start here. Go to the control panel. From the control panel, you're going to want to click sound. And then from here, it should say no audio devices are installed. Obviously, audio devices are plugged in and installed onto my computer because this is a laptop. You know, you can't unplug it. Uh, you want to put in some headphones and you want to put some headphones or something or some other speaker into the computer to make sure you know you want to make sure that those headphones work on your iPod or something else make sure those are working headphones plug them into the laptop just to confirm that it still is doing nothing and it's still not working now after you've confirmed that we're gonna move on right from here we're gonna move on to step uh, two which is the first fix that we're gonna have so we're, we'll do that now. What's up, guys? Um, now we're going to be doing our first fix for this. Uh, I want to ask you guys to go to the start. I want you guys to go to control panel. From the control panel, we will be going to device manager. From device manager, now we're going to see sound, video, and game controllers. SoundMax Integrated Digital Audio. This is what my audio service runs off of, off of this driver. Um, so now we have pretty much three options from here. We can update the driver software. Sometimes the, the Windows audio service can be um, stopped from this because you, your hardware, I mean your driver crashed and you just need to update your driver software. Um, you can try disabling it and then re-enabling it you can try uninstalling this, turning off your computer, starting it back up, and then it'll automatically, upon rebooting, it'll reinstall it. Um, those might work for you. Uh, that's that's my first fix for this, and I'll show you guys the other fix for this that actually worked for me. So we'll be right back. Okay, fix number two is I'm going to ask you guys to go to start, go to run and type in services.msc or you can simply go to start type in services you'll see some gears here click that and here's your services hopefully when you call Apple this is where they tell you uh, to check here's see here's your iPod service um, that so just so you know services have to be started or enabled you know to to do things on your computer and um so if the iPod service is stopped your your i your iPod won't be recognized when you plug it into into your computer so just a ba some background information about services that's what services does um we're going to go down over here and we're going to find windows audio and you're gonna you're gonna want to right click that and click properties. Now here are the properties, and I want you guys to go from the general tab to dependencies. And dependencies, what this means is we have here um, we have multimedia class scheduler, remote procedure call, and Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. All of these services must be enabled. Uh, you know they must be enabled in order for Windows Audio to be working and the reason we're getting this red X down here is probably because one of these services are tr are turned off so we're gonna wanna go we're gonna write these down or something we're gonna wanna make sure that um, all of these services are turned on so we can click OK we're done here and we're gonna find remote procedure call Oop. okay this one here sorry not the locator you need remote procedure call you're gonna want to go to 
properties, but that will definitely be started, I think. See how it says started here? Make sure it's started. Okay, and we need to find multimedia class scheduler. Okay, right click that, go ahead and hit properties. This might take a few days to load. Oh, it didn't. Okay, see, service status stopped. Now, you're going to want to click, you're going to want to make sure startup type is automatic, and you click start. And it started up multimedia class scheduler. Awesome. Okay. Now, we're going to want to make sure that Windows Audio Endpoint Builder, which was our third one, we're going to want to make sure that started. Okay, right here, it says started. You can see that the it, it stopped here. We can go over here and click start the service. Okay, Windows is attempting to start the following service on local computer. Hopefully that will load up pretty soon. And the audio service will be running and we won't have a red X down here. Okay. Windows audio service is now started. I can show you guys my speakers are working. Um, so it worked. We have Windows audio service started and it's actually showing me down here that I have speakers. So hopefully that worked for you guys. Um, if not, uh, try to find another fix on the internet. But I'm pretty sure that maybe would have taken care of it. If not, you you might want to try again and plug in some headphones and see if those headphones work now. And, and if they're working and your speakers inside your laptop aren't, uh, there might have been somewhere where you dropped it or something and and the speakers broke or they got disconnected somehow. Um, so look into that. But just try it again with some headphones that you know for sure work. And if they work, then your issue is a hardware issue with your with your speakers with your internal speakers on your computer so get that looked at thanks bye